Let's begin domestically. Ted Cruz is the hero of the Tea Party. I have warned you about Ted, Ted Cruz for several years. He is a product of several talk show hosts, but he's an invented product. I told you a year ago that Ted Cruz is finished. Over the weekend, Senator Ted Cruz, Republican of Texas, joined the charlatan Glenn Beck at the U.S.-Mexico border for a stunt of giving out soccer balls and teddy bears to the hordes of illegal alien children coming over the border. I warned you that Ted Cruz would implode. I warned you about him, and I told you he was a creation of talk show hosts. He's finished. Right now, he is not an opponent for Hillary Clinton. She'll wipe the floor with him, because if he starts to attack her on immigration, she'll say, you're the one who went to the border with teddy bears and balloons. I didn't. I didn't encourage him to come here. Ted, you did. But it's even worse than that. Ted Cruz thanks the charlatan Glenn Beck through his um, production company, which means that there's some kind of financial relationship between Ted Cruz and Glenn Beck that I don't like. That's so let's go to Ted Cruz on the border with Glenn Beck. By the way, he raised $2 million from fools like you who support him. Fools like you gave Glenn Beck $2 million to give out uh, bouncing balls to illegal aliens. You know, when you have an invasion into a household uh, of any kind, if you put out food for that invasion, more will come. What's even more ironic is that these children are not so, uh, starving. They're not denied medicine by this government. They're being fed. They're being given toys. They're being given medicine. And yet this charlatan, Glenn Beck, goes down there to the border town of McAllen, Texas. and who That I expected from him. I've always known him to be a fraud from day one. From the get-go, he was like one of those tent preachers to me, one of those uneducated dolts, like a marjo. And many of you love him. I understand that. And many of you gave him money. Then you wake up and find out that Ted Cruz, the last great hope of the Republican Party, allegedly, goes down there with him. Now, this shows you that Ted Cruz has no advisors, or he's being advised, let's say, by Glenn Beck. Listen to clip five. Let me say thank you to Mercury One. Thank you to Glenn for leading on this issue. Uh, for raising over $2 million to provide food, to provide medicine, to provide toys to these kids. Our country has always been a country of compassion, of humanity, and, and these children, while they're here, we need to care for them well. Step we right there. All right, here he goes again. So he's taking the side of the liberal government under Obama, if you even want to call him that. I wouldn't call him a liberal government. There's Ted Cruz destroying his political career with one wrong move. He's finished. I can guarantee you he's finished. I can guarantee you he's finished. He's over. Now I want Michael Savage. Our citizens are under assault, and little children from Central America are detained in squalor. We are too good a country for that to occur. That is why today I am using my executive authority as governor of Texas and activating the National Guard. Well, the games are on. Finally, a Republican has manned up and stood up to the illegitimate community organizer in the White House who has broken our border with Mexico and permitted tens of thousands of illegal aliens to surge over the border at great cost to this United States of America. Remember, you may not know this, but unaccompanied children are only making up 20% of those being apprehended illegally. And Perry said he can no longer wait for the president to act as hardened gang members and drug cartels flood into Texas, causing crime to skyrocket. Perry pointed out that Texas taxpayers can no longer bear the cost of processing and housing the surge of illegals caused by Obama's 2012 Executive Action Dream Act, which has given uh, people in Central America the idea that their children will be allowed to stay in the United States, which is true, of course. So I'm going to ask you that now that... Uh, Rick Perry has announced he's deploying a thousand Texas National Guard to the U.S. border with Mexico, saying he cannot idly sit by while our citizens are under siege. Do you agree with Rick Perry in sending the National Guard, number one? Number two, do you think this will launch him into the White House as I do? I believe he's now the front runner. First of all, he's a statesman. Second of all, he runs a large state. Third of all, he's statesmanlike. Fourth of all, he's doing what's necessary to save this country. I'm 100% behind Rick Perry myself. I'll be right up front with you. 
Even though he won't come on this show, I'm 100% behind him. I don't care if he never comes on the show. It doesn't matter to me. I care only about America, not my ratings. How do you feel about that? you feel it's a good idea? Do you think he's being a fascist by sending the National Guard to the border? Do you think we should accept all of the illegal alien children? WABC Joe, welcome to the Savage Nation. Your opinion, please. Uh, I want to add about the illegals from South America coming here, uh, that also groups of professional shoplifters are coming here, too, that's, uh, and they're stealing millions of dollars per week, that they say. And when some of them do get caught, they, uh, they get bailed out by a lot of these people that are in with it, and then they just go to a... Well, I don't understand what you're saying, Joe. How do you know that they're part of this surge of today? It was on a documentary last night on 60 Minutes. They had it, and, and it showed you, and they followed them around, and they were from South America, and they're really good at what they do. They've been shoplifting everything. They even go after jewelers. They know where jewelers are and their money, and they'll go after them. And so you know, in other words, it's now give us your tired, your poor, and your huddled uh, jewel thieves exactly. under Obama. And also G Give us your tired, your poor, and your huddled uh, welfare uh, scammers. Yep, you got it. I get it. So you're in favor of Rick Perry's move? Oh, definitely. Would you vote for him for president? Oh, definitely. And do you think, as I do, he's now the front runner of the Republican pack? I would say so. I don't think it's... Absolutely. A hundred percent. Ted Cruz is finished. Ted Cruz never... No one even knew who Ted Cruz was. I know intelligent people who follow the news that never heard of Ted Cruz. But now that the weasel has appeared with the charlatan Glenn Beck, he's finished completely. But Rick Perry now steps forward and does the right thing. He didn't send toys and balloons to the border. He sent troops with guns and uh, bayonets to the border. I don't know what they're going to... Are they going to be armed? That's what I'd like to know. God forbid I wake up and find that the National Guard is br bringing balloons and uh, tamales to the border. WFTL, James, how do you feel about Rick Perry sending 1,000 National Guard to the U.S. border with Mexico? I think he should have done it the day after uh, the president didn't do anything when he was down there and shook his hand. That's the first thing. I agree with him that he's doing it. I think all of the border... Governors should do it, uh, although they won't because some of them are in lockstep with the current administration. You don't actually think Governor Brown will send uh, the, the California National Guard to the border, do you? No, no, I don't. But no. Uh, no. In fact, if Governor Brown sent the National Guard to the border, it would be to drive uh, the citizens away from the border to let more of them come in. Right, exactly. Uh, I, I think Perry is probably on his, uh, on his way to the White House. Um, he's got a long, a long way to go, though. Um, to, oh, you wait and see. You wait and see what the leftist rats in the media do to Perry after this. You wait and see what they do to him because of this. That he stood up to Obama's border-crushing uh, activities. You wait and see what the rats at ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, and even Fox News will do to Perry because of this. You wait and see when Murdoch gives a call to Ailes and Ailes gives a call to the chorus line. How they start to rip Perry apart very subtly. Even Fox News will attack him for this. You wait and see. The chorus line with lipstick will attack him, as sure as I'm sitting here. That's how I feel. That's what I feel. 